it's coming to the game. It's so exciting. No, it's actually pretty cool. Just thought I would start the video over there because Arnold's on the other side of this wall and he's making fun of me. But we're gonna go over the Clone Wars 10 year anniversary. Of course, that has something to do with General Kenobi. If you haven't noticed already, General Kenobi, the Ray General Kenobi is the logon for this month and you're getting him for free. So a lot of people are like huge amounts of speculation what that means. It means that we're gonna get uh, General Grievous. I know this guy wants General Grievous or else he's gonna delete his channel. We're gonna get the Malevolent Starship or we're gonna get Jordica. Well, I don't know, but what we're gonna start off with talking about is Jedi Knight Anakin Starfighter, which is really cool, especially because it gives huge amounts of bonuses to Mace Windu. And then also, we're gonna get the clone helmets. Let's read the post and then we'll go over the kit. Star Wars, the Clone Wars is celebrating its 10th anniversary. We're big fans here at Capital Gains, so we've brought some exciting things to spice up the party. Over the course of the month of November, we'll be celebrating with Jedi Knight, Anakin Starfighter, limited time bonuses for Territory Wars. That's very interesting, by the way. And the much awaited Clone Wars helmets. Cool. Jedi Knight Anakin Starfighter, we're gonna go over the entire kit, no gameplay today, but we're gonna go over the kit, which I think is a good counter to Houndstooth, plus it's gonna make Mace Windu's capital ships relevant. Undisputed best Starfighter pilot in the galaxy, finally has his ship. Anakin Skywalker can now pilot his ETA-2 Starfighter with its signature yellow accents. Anakin's ETA-2 is an aggressive Jedi attacker that bolsters a Galactic Republic fleet of fence and retaliates when allies are in trouble. And we're gonna look at that kit here in a moment. Clone helmets, doesn't that look cool? That looks really cool. Uh, uh, Arnold's little brother was a clone trooper for Halloween. We had a uh, trunk or treat right here in the parking lot yesterday and they gave out tons of candy and it was really cool. Clone Wars, Territory Wars special event. Clone Wars era comes to the Territory Wars holo table. For a limited time, all Territory War bonuses have been changed. Ooh. Read to see the full list of changes and be prepared for a fun experience in your guild's next Territory War. Bonuses. The following characters have specific passive bonuses and effects. For complete details, check out the detail panels in Territory Wars. And they're gonna go over Mace Windu, General Grievous, and then mystery bonuses. Two characters, who can they be? Put it down in the comment section because I have no idea. One Galactic Republic and one is Separatist have mystery bonuses and you will only learn about it when you enter your next territory war. Very exciting, I like this. Mace Windu, Battletoon Master of the Forest, Mace Windu has 100% max health, 480% max protection, and 100% counter chance, and is immune to shock, daze, and stun. Additionally, when attacking Sith with his basic attack, Mace deals 1,000% damage, my goodness. And inflicts expose on all enemies for two turns whenever he takes damage. And if Jango Fett has expose, <laughs> Mace Windu's attack will instantly defeat him. Oh, that's so funny. That's a reference to the way that, uh, <laughs> the way that Jango was defeated. That's great. Uh, as you know, Mace Windu uh, beheaded, uh, <laughs> Jingle fan. General Grievous. Oh boy, a use for him, finally. Oh, Arnold's gonna be able to play his G12. General of the Droid Army. General Grievous has 300% offense. At the start of each turn, wow, 300%. If Grievous is below 100% health, he dispels all debuffs of himself and grants taunt to the other healthiest droid ally until the end of turn. When a droid ally is defeated for the first time in battle, Grievous dispels all debuffs on his hand, resets all ability cooldowns, and gains three bonus turns. Boy, that... Pretty much there looks like a potential and possible Grievous rework. Both of those abilities right there, I think would be good if they were permanent. What do you guys think? Like I said, put it down in the comment section. Let's take a look at Anakin's ship. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind, it's so awesome! All right, Anakin's ETA Starfighter Two Alignment Light, Light Side Galactic Republic, Jedi Attacker Crew, which is interesting to me is that it's only Jedi Anakin, even though R2 is right here in the picture, uh, R2 is not a part of the pilot system. Aggressive Jedi attacker that bolsters offense and retaliates when allies are in trouble. Woo! Inflicts healing immunity and buff immunity, and I think that's gonna be pretty good with Hound's Tooth. Really, Hound's Tooth is hard to beat. And you know, you, Soka does a good job, so does TIE Fighter Pilot, but Anakin's ship might be the key to blowing through Hound's Tooth, which is the best 
tank ship in the game, in my opinion. Big buffs for Jedi and Galactic Republic allies, and I think this is amazing. Endurance capital ship might have a place in the arena in the meta currently. For a long time, it's been Tarkin, Thrawn, and sometimes it'd be Akbar, but I can't remember the last time that it came across a Mace Endurance capital ship inside of my arena shard. It's been a long time, maybe even more than a year. Abilities basic locked on. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns. This attack can't be evaded. Target lock grants another random ally valor for two turns. Again, that's gonna drastically help out Mace and having an endurance as the capital ship. Impeding assault has a cooldown of three turns. Final text, deal physical damage to all enemies. Always cool, being able to hit everybody. And inflict healing and buff immunity on target enemy for two turns. This sounds like it's a perfect counter to Houndstooth, by the way. I think this is gonna be amazing. No gameplay, no test accounts right now. Maybe we'll get some here soon so we can show it to all you guys whether or not he's really good or not. The main thing is I'm really excited that the underlying character, Jedi Anakin, for most people is already upgraded because the thing about ships is I don't like upgrading them. It seems horrible if I have to upgrade a character I don't like, like Sith Marauder or Genosians, but Jedi Knight Anakin is a character I don't mind. I already got him geared up, so this is really good and I'm really excited about this. Main thing about this ability right here, Anakin Starfighter gains 20% up stacking for two turns with each critical hit. My goodness, if you hit all five, if there's five out there and you get crits on all of them, it's gonna be huge amounts of stacking protection. I think this is awesome. And it stacks his unique ability, Surge All Power Final Techs. Jedi and clone allies gained 30% off its, but doubled if they have Valor. Boy, we're gonna have to use Mace. Gonna have to use Mace ship on this. Whenever another ally falls below 100% health or is defeated, and it can Starfighter gains 100% turn meter, and its next attack deals 50% more damage. This is very similar to Anakin's character kit. Very similar. Additionally, Anakin Starfighter immediately gains Valor for two turns whenever it expires. So he's gonna constantly have Valor. Man, I really wanna test out this character. I really wanna see how it works. It sounds very good. Reinforcement, aggressive approach. Enter battle, grant all allies accuracy up for two turns, and all Galactic Republic allies offense up for two turns. Inflict expose on all enemies for two turns, which can't be evaded. Looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section, but the part that I am mostly interested in is right here with the clone helmets. I wanna see how they look. That looks really cool. We've got an Anakin ship right back there, but this Territory Wars special event, what does this all mean right here with Grievous and Mace Windu right here? Is that gonna be a potential rework for Grievous? Is that gonna be a potential rework for Mace? I really like how it has a, a reference to Django effect. I mean, what does the login reward of General Kenobi really mean? Are we gonna get a Grievous rework? I think so. I, I hope so. Malevolence, possibly. Droidica, boy, I love it if we got Droidica. There's just so many speculations about what this means. I'm pretty excited because this all really does tie in to the 10th anniversary of the Clone Wars. And I know a lot of people are huge, huge fans of the Clone Wars. Uh, I know I am. I love it. It's great stuff. So I'm excited about the ship mostly because the character I like and it's not a hassle. I've already got him at seven stars. So it's not like I'm working on a character that I don't like, like Genosians or Sith Marauder. Plus, we're going to have some uh, a cool variation to Territory Wars. And the ship looks like it's going to be exciting and it's going to be a good counter to Houndstooth. And we're going to have to use Mace, of course. OK, well, now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you liked this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you're going to get not a seven star, but an eight star I Hate Sand Anakin. This is not a scam. I love Anakin. I love prequel memes. I'm glad that he's getting boost. I also hope that they do a rework on the character kit. It's a little bit underwhelming, but I would love to run Jedi Knight Anakin under Revan. I think that'd be really good if he was relevant. Again, he did have a brief time in the meta a long time ago, but I just would love it if they even reworked Jedi Knight Anakin. All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.